Hey there, lunar lovers. Jules here for a D News short. Ever since we went to the moon in the 1960s, we've had a ton of unexplained questions about its mysterious surface. Is it really made of cheese? Are there really transformers on the dark side? Why is there a strange glow on its horizon? Well, while those first two questions might forever remain a mystery, a recent study from NASA may have just found an explanation for the moon's weird glow. Spoiler alert, it's electric dust. We've known for a while that the horizon glow, which was noticed by astronauts and probes, is due to dust particles suspended above the lunar surface. But that's not the whole story. On the Earth's surface, pressure changes in the air pick up plenty of dust. Think dust suspended in a ray of light. But on the moon, there's very little air. One cubic centimeter of Earth's atmosphere contains about 10 quintillion molecules, while on the moon, the same volume of atmosphere only contains less than a million molecules. That just isn't enough to float all that dust on its surface. So how is it floating? Wingardium Leviosa? Well, it's not quite magic. Rather, it's electric. A NASA study from December 2016 took micron-sized dust particles, which are one millionth of a meter in size, and subjected them to ultraviolet radiation, as well as a type of electrically charged gas called plasma. Both of these are present on the moon and come from the sun, creating a sort of electromagnetic force on the surface of the moon. In their experiments, these forces caused individual dust particles to jump several centimeters above the surface, some as high as four inches. Any light passing through this dust would create a dull haze or glow explaining this lunar phenomenon. The reason for this dust dance is that because of the weak electrical force that's present, neighboring particles of dust repeatedly emit and absorb electrons between each other inside of so-called microcavities. This activity creates electric charges between the particles, and these charges attract and repel the dust, creating this flurry of dust activity. In fact, the same phenomenon is present elsewhere in the cosmos, particularly Saturn's dusty and icy rings, despite there being no wind or flowing water to displace any dust. This understanding of electrostatically lofted dust particles is a big step in figuring out how particles are able to travel enormous distances relative to their size. So if you ever find yourself on the surface of the moon, staring out into the horizon, don't be afraid of the glow. It's just electric. So that's why the moon glows. But what about Mars? Mars glows too, and you don't have to be standing on it to see the glow. Turns out it's for a completely different reason than the moon glow, and you can find out what that is right over here up near my shoulder at the end of my pointing finger. Now, do you have any other questions about the moon, any moon mysteries you want us to take a look at? Let us know down below in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more D-News every day.